So here, you are supposed to simplify expressions. Now, when you look at it first, you will notice that you you just have A B C, B C A C B A, and then another C B A. But in algebra, even if you have the letters in different arrangement, as long as they they are the same. So A B C B C A is basically the same as A B C. You can arrange them. Okay, C B A can be arranged into A B C. Okay, it's the same with this. So do not think that the only expressions that you can combine are the last two. Yes, they're both C B A, so these two will become five C B A, right? Six minus one. Okay, but if you recognize it or every term or all the terms are the same or similar, then you can rewrite the letters. B C A is the same as A B C. Then plus six A B C and then minus A B C. A B C is like you can think of it as a label of the expression. You have 7 minus 4 plus 6 minus 1. So there's a 1 here. So 7 minus 4, what is 7 minus 4? 3. three. So this 2 will be 3ABC, right? And then 3ABC plus 6ABC will be what if you combine the two? 3ABC plus 6ABC. So just think of this as a single object. Okay, it will always be ABC. Oh, so now we have 3ABC and then plus 6ABC. How will you combine the two? 3ABC and 6ABC. How many ABC do we have? 9. So 9ABC. And then minus 1. So what is 9 ABC minus 1? 8 ABC. Eight. So the answer to this will be 8 ABC. Okay? So in this example, although it's a bit unusual, you can actually arrange the letters. And you can only do that for multiplication. Okay? Now in a group. Okay? Of course, there's a different case for addition. But in this case, ABC is the same as BCA. Okay? Clear? And then you have, so let's look at the other one. Okay, so B is about 12A and then plus 5B minus 7A minus 14B and then minus 9A. Algebra is about combining similar terms so similar means the same the same letters you can never combine 12a and 5b because a and b are not the same so but if you look at the other uh, terms i have 7a i have 9a so 12a minus 7a is equal to what is 12a minus 7a 5a but you still have so this is 5a and then you have the 9 uh, minus 9a. What is 5a minus 9a? Negative 6. Very sure. So count again. What's the difference of 5 and 9? Remember what we did yesterday. I have 5 positives. I have so 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. So there are 5 positives and then nine negatives if I will be combining them this five positives will cancel five negatives right so take away the five we're taking away five negatives so how many negatives do we have left negative four. so we have four so negative four and then with the letter A so you are able to combine all the A's right so the next thing that you need to combine are the B's you only have two. 
so we have 5b and 14b that's 5 minus 14 think of this so there are 5 positive b and there are 14 negative negative 9b so this two will become negative 9b okay so let's summarize the results all the a's became negative 4a and the b is negative 9b which is correct okay very good and then we'll look at the next example so letter c 3 times x minus 2y and then minus 2 times 3x minus y. What do you think should we do with this? Well, as I can see in your work, you distributed the 3. So over subtraction, so we have 3x minus 6y minus 6x. Ah, so in your solution, you wrote negative 2y. But this is negative 2, negative 2 times negative y. Negative times negative is, is a positive. So not, it's not negative 2y. But rather it is positive 2y. So be careful with minus signs or subtraction. Now, if this one is similar now to what we did in number uh, letter B. Look for all the x and look for all the y. What will happen to the x? 3x minus x. Mm. So I am, uh, we need to combine these two. Yeah. What is the combination of 3x and minus 6x? What's 3x minus 6x? There are 3 positive, there are 6 negatives. Hmm. Why positive 3? I have positive 3x, I have negative 6x or minus 6x. 3 minus 6, you're subtracting a bigger number from a smaller number. So it should be negative, negative three. 3 and the letter should be x. x. So we were able to combine. So always take note, you're subtracting a bigger number from a smaller number. So the result should be a negative number. And, and the number here is the difference of 6 and 3, which is 3. Okay, so the answer is negative 3. Now what about negative 6y plus 2y? Negative 4. Negative 4y. Okay, so that's how you combine the, the expressions. Now in your work, you only distributed the, the numbers, so 2 and then the, the 5. Okay, uh, the, the, here, the 2 the 3 and the 2, okay? But you should end by combining the letters. Okay, next. So, letter D is about 2 times 3x plus y minus 5 times x minus 3y. So we'll repeat the procedure. So what will be our first? 6x. Six 6x six and then? 2y. Um, 2y. What about this? Don't look at your work. Focus on this one. 5x. Uh, With complete signs. Negative or positive? Negative 5x. Negative 5x. And then the last? Positive 15 positive y. y because it's negative times negative. Now, what will be the combination of the x? 6x minus 5x and 2y. Negative 5x. 
and how do you write the combination? Um, one x one x and one x is simply x x okay what about the y? Um, What's 2y plus 15y? 17y 17 So just add 2 on the 15 So 15, 16, 17 So 17, y So again, we cannot combine x and y So the final answer should be this Okay, clear? Okay, let's work on a fraction So we have letter E uh, x over 2 plus x over 3 minus x over 5. Now, there's a rule in fractions that you cannot add uh, fractions directly if the denominators are not the same. Okay, so we should find a way on how to make the denominators the same. And that is by the use of their least common multiple or if we're referring to the denominator, it's the least common denominator. The least common denominator is the number that can be divided by 2, 3, and 5. So give me the first number that can be divided by 2 at the same time by 3 and at the same time by 5. Remember our example before when we look for the LCM? Is there a number that can divide 2 and 3 and 5 except for 1? No, right? So basically, the LCM will come from the 2 times 3 times 5. And what is 2 times 3 times 5? 30. Uh, 30. 30, right? Yeah. So we need the denominator to be 30. Now, there are many ways on how to transform these terms, x over 2, x over 3, and x over 5 in terms of 30. Now, one way is to think of how do we make 2, or what should we multiply to 2 to get 30. So 2 times something equals 30. What is that number? What's double of uh, something equals 30? Or you can think of it as 30 divided by 2. What's 30 divided by 2? Half of 30. 15. So, to make this 30, I need to multiply it by 15. And to retain the fraction, there should also be 15 in the numerator, right? Because 15 and 15 is just 1. Okay, so this is 15x, remember? 15x, 2 times 15 is 30. And we'll do the same for the next. What should I, should I multiply to 3 so that I will get 30? 10. 10. So I should put a 10 and then the 10. So 3 and 10 is 30, but x and 10 will be 10. 10. How do you write x and 10 properly? 10. 10x. What about 5? Mm. 6. 6. So I need 2 times by 6 and then times by 6. 5 times 6 is 30. What about x times 6? 6x. 6x. Six yeah. So from here, since you have the same denominator, they can be combined now into a single fraction. So I have 15x plus 10x minus 6x. What will be the result? What's the combination of the x in the numerator? You start with 15 and 10.
31. Are you sure? Double check. Y31. I have 15x plus 10x minus 6x. Minus? Mm -hmm. So 19x. So numerator is 19x and then over 30. Okay, so equals is equals and then equals. So that's the final answer. So that's how you combine fractions. Now, if the problem was like just like this, then all you have to do is to proceed to this step, right? Just combine the numerator. But if you have different denominators, you have to think of LCM or in this case L C B and then you have to convert all those fractions into that denominator okay any question okay so